I'm Martin Schweiger. For the last few years, I've been here standing outside the gates of Menworth Hill on a Tuesday night. This may be because I'm a Quaker, concerned about peace, but it may also be because I'm a public health doctor and concerned about trying to protect people's health. Whichever way I look at it, there's a problem here. The background, large amounts of money being spent to make the world a more dangerous place. Many of the people in the area around us don't recognise that this is actually part of a very large weapon system. The world's biggest weapon system right here in the peace and glory of Nidderdale has the capacity to help us destroy vast numbers of people by listening, targeting, aiming, ensuring that all sorts of weapon systems can be deployed at the whim and will of those who wish to use them, but completely unaccountable to the rest of the world. Even our own government here in the UK has no voice, has no ability to say, no, this is something we don't want, not in our name. So why does it matter today? It matters today because even more money, even more resources are being poured into making the world a more dangerous place, putting weapons in space, creating a world that is not fit for our children, let alone our grandchildren. It matters today because the volume of the world's resources deployed into weapon systems is greater than at any time in the past. So what do we have to do about it? We have to be sympathetic to those who feel protected by big armaments. We have to understand that there's a bigger link between politics and armaments and resources. Many of us will feel it right to pray. All of us actually have to say no, not in our name and try and do something about it. And for those who can, come and stand outside Menworth Hill on a Tuesday night, come and join us. Or identify other places like this that need the light shone on them. All we have to do is something. The step forward is from the next pace. So you come here every Tuesday, do you? What time do you start? The intention is always to start at six o'clock and then we pack up promptly at eight o'clock. We need to get home have a meal, get washed, and our, the, our police escort the people who look after us during the, during the uh, dis demonstration. They also want to get back to York. Um, we're here every week because the problem doesn't go away. You could say, why aren't we here 24 hours a day, seven days a week? The two hours on the Tuesday evening, every Tuesday, is a way of saying this problem hasn't gone away. We've got to keep focused on it, but we also have to engage with the rest of the world around us. So two hours a week, every week, that's what we're trying to do here. Keep an awareness, keep it alive. This problem won't go away until enough people say no, not in our name. Is there anything people should be afraid of if they come to protest outside? If you're worried about standing outside, there are some serious worries. In the winter, it's cold. You can get very wet. You could also potentially get bored if you just think, I keep waving at all these people coming in out of the base and nobody waves back. But there's nothing to really be frightened of other than your own thoughts and your own opinion that maybe it's urgent and all I'm doing is standing here. The biggest worry is that we're not doing enough. Be afraid, be very afraid of ignoring something that is going to make the world even more dangerous than it is today. That's what we have to be frightened of doesn't mean you can't actually pay attention to the cars coming in and out, don't want you to run over, that doesn't help anybody, but be very afraid of actually ignoring this problem.